How would you like to buy a home that's kind of beat up, but get funding for it to repair it, have it added into your loan, and have one monthly payment, the form of a mortgage, after it's all done? Welcome to the FHA 203K. And for the next few moments, I'm going to share all the things you need to know about it and some things you may not catch on another video. Here we go. Hi, I'm John Adolfi with Adolfi Real Estate in the sleepy village of Phoenix, New York. Today we're going to talk about the magic of the FHA 203K rehab loan. Please understand that first off, these are only good for owner-occupant persons. People who are going to buy the house as their primary residence. They do not have the 203K for investors. So what does it actually mean? All right, let's say you look at a house that's relatively beat up or you want to do some renovations to it. Let's say the base sticker price for the home is $200,000. Let's say the repairs have come in at around 30 grand, all right? So you have the base sticker price for the house of 200,000 and the repairs of 30,000. You then get a loan for $230,000, the base sticker price of the house plus the repairs, which is great because then you just have again one monthly payment. Here's how it works. You go shopping, you find the home of your dreams but it needs a little bit of TLC. You then put it under contract with a 203k FHA loan, okay? After the seller accepts your offer, you then go to the bank. Once you begin your formal application, they're gonna send you out and get contractor bids for that $30,000, we're estimating at this point, $30,000 worth of repairs. Work with your bank on who is qualified in order to give you that estimate, okay? Not everybody is, not every contractor is. They have to be licensed, they have to have e and insurance, and they have to have liability insurance. Workman's comp, work with the bank, they'll tell you what you need to do when you're scouting out and locating the proper contractor. Understand that the bank will not allow you to do any of the work. If they do make any exceptions, you're gonna to need to talk to them about those. Once you've got the estimates in hand, you give them to the bank. Let's say the estimates came in at $27,000. Great. You're now going to get a loan for $227,000. The place and the fix up. The next step after that is just to go through the normal closing process. Within 60 to 75 days, you'll close on your loan. What happens next is pretty cool. What the bank will do first is they'll give you one half of the money right up front within just a few days to get your contractor going. So we use the figure of $27,000. That's so $13,500 right off the bat, they're going to write you a check in your name and the contractor's name, and you're going to endorse it and hand it over to the contractor. Contractor then gets to work. The bank will come out and inspect to make sure that everything that needed to be done was done. Once they sign off on it, they write you another check for $13,500 endorsed to you and your contractor. You sign it, hand it over to the contractor, you're done. Now you have a home that is fixed up and livable and mortgageable. That's the important thing. Let's talk about the two types of FHA 203k loans. There's one, that's the stodgy, and I'm going to call it older 203k, the plain 203k, you really want to stay away from that if your fix-up is less than 35000 If it's more than 35000 you're stuck with doing that. But the 203KS, or Streamline, is the one you really want. That has that easy payout. Um, it's just a much more simpler and it's very much more user-friendly for the bank. They're more apt to do that than the stodgy old. Now, when would you want to use the stodgy old 203K? Well, it's got a different payout, which, you're, which is not as user-friendly to you um, when it comes to getting the work done. When you're going to use that is if you are going to move a wall, build a garage, do some kind of structural thing. You're going to not just put a new roof on, you have to put new trusses on it. Whenever you have that kind of repair, uh, construction on a level of, of um, moving walls and putting up walls or whatnot, then you're going to need to use the old stodgy 203k. It's not impossible to go through the, fir the first type of 203k we're referring to. It's just more difficult. One of the things too that 
isn't the best when you do use a 203k is you do pay a little bit more in interest it could be anywhere between a quarter point all the way up to a full percent on the interest rate check with your local bank and not all banks do 203k fhas you'll have to check on it see if they do and the other thing that is not so good is they'll charge you an extra point mean upfront cost could be a quarter half usually it's a half to a full point meaning that if it's a $200,000 loan they're going to charge you anywhere between a thousand to two thousand extra dollars in your closing costs just for the privilege of using the 203k FHA loan well that about wraps it up synopsis on that if you have any questions awesome down below you're going to want to get my free report on you're going to love the 203k it's free it's downloadable if you like this kind of content Feel free to subscribe. I'm John Adolfi. You guys have a great day and love the 203K.